Hey there my fellow designers and creatives, hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here from Design Pilot and I'm back again today with a very new quick Webflow tutorial. In this Webflow tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can customize the slider navigation dots that are custom made inside Webflow. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right. Here I'm in Webflow and let's start off by creating a super simple slider. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, or actually let me just press Control E or Command E and search for slider and drop that in. That's it. So let's quickly take a look at the structure and then we're gonna see how we can customize it. So we're gonna be customizing these two buttons. Now, over here we have the slider, which is the biggest element. Inside that we have the left arrow and then we have the right arrow. And we also have the mask, uh, inside the mask, we have slide one and slide two. This is where our content is going to sit in. Now, what we want to be bothered about is slide nav, all right? Now, in the slide nav, this is the only element, but here you can see that there are two dots and these are kind of, you know, hidden by Webflow. So basically, we can't actually see these two elements. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and customize this, all right, from scratch. So let's say we want to do this similar to the way Instagram does on its mobile device. All right. We have these small rectangular pills. So we, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the page and here in the page settings for whichever page you are on, I'm going to click on this settings icon and I'm going to come all the way to the bottom where it says custom code. Now it says custom code and scripts will appear only after the uh, site is published and the code included will appear only to this page. All right. So you can go to the link in the description and copy code, uh, a certain set of code and go ahead and just paste that over here. Now I'm going to explain everything. It is super simple. There is literally nothing complex about this. Okay. Now, once you have this, just go ahead and click on save. All right. And once you click on save, I'm going to go ahead and choose publish because I can't see this without publishing. Oh, by the way, let me go ahead and just change the color of these elements so we can better understand what we're taking a look at. So I'm going to go ahead and just give this a nice red color. And for the slide two, I'm going to go ahead and give this a nice simple blue color. All right. Now we can go ahead and choose publish to select a domain, uh, which is the regular domain. And I'm going to click to go to the, um, the page, right? Now, if I come over here, you can see that the slider is there. And also this has changed. All right. This looks different than this. So if I come over here, you can see that this is still in this color, but here this looks quite significantly different. Now I'm going to show you how this works. It's very simple. It's not even complicated. And if you have no idea how to code or don't even understand how to code, this is going to be so easy for you to understand. All right. So back here, we have three elements that we need to customize. This is element number one. This is element number two, and this is element number three. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead, right click, and I'm going to choose inspect. All right. And I'm going to show you how this entire thing works. So let's go ahead and come over here. So here you can see that this part is called the W slider navigation W round. All right. This name corresponds with this name W slider nav W dot W round. All right. So this is the exact element. Now what we are doing is we are giving a certain width. Now, if you, if you, now if you see over here, this has two div blocks. All right. Now these two are actually those two circles or elements that we have. Now here in the custom code, what I'm saying is this is the parent class, all right? Which is this whole, this whole thing over here. Go and select the div elements, all right? Which are these two div elements, all right? And give it a width of 16 pixels. So ideally I'm going telling and telling this class to give its children, which is the W slider dot W active and W slider dot to have a width of 16 pixels. All right. And also give it a border radius of eight pixels. That's it. Now let's say we go ahead and set this to 36 pixels. All right. And we're going to keep the border radius as it is. I'm going to click on save. Okay. And I'm going to go and choose publish to select the domains again. And here I'm going to go ahead and press control or command R to reload the page. 
And now you can see that these are wider. These are now much, much wider. Perfect. So that is the first part that we had to take care of. Let's come to the second part. Let's come back over here. So we have two elements. One is the W slider dot and the other is the W slider dot W active. Now this is actually the active dot, all right, which is this dot, which is, as you can see, it says W slider W dot. This is the one that is active because this is my slide. So if I click over here, you can see that now the second one becomes the active slider, all right? So we want to customize both of this. So let's choose the active one first, all right? Uh, let's come back over here. This is the active one, as you can see, W slider dot W active. And I am telling it, give it a height of six pixels. Now we gave it a width of 36 pixels. I wanted to give it a height of six pixels and I want the background to be white color. Now let's say we give it a height of 10 pixels. All right, let's just say, for example, and we'll click on save. All right, let's go ahead and choose publish to select domains again. All right, let's come back and let's choose reload, control R to reload. All right, now you can see that the active button, all right, is bigger than the non-active button, all right? Because we customized, if you see over here, we customized only the height of the W slider dot W active. We did not customize the W slider dot, all right? This W slider dot is the second one, all right? So what we can do is we can go ahead and set this also to 10 pixels. Now, here we have a background color, which is this blue color. Now, let's say that we want to change this to a different color, all right? So let me just use my color picker tool over here, all right? And let's just pick, um, you know, uh, never mind. Actually, let's go ahead and then just change the background color to, let's say, a dark color, say, one, two, one, two, one, two, all right? This is the hex value of a black color. I'm going to click on Save, all right? And I'm choose Publish to Selected Domains again, okay? And now I'm going to come back over here and let me just press Control R to reload. And now you can see that this is black in color, all right? So if I click over here, you can see now this is the active one. So this becomes, the first one becomes the inactive one. So you can see that over here. So basically you wanna go ahead and customize three different elements. The slider dot, which is inactive, the slider dot, which is active, and then the slider navigation, which has those two div elements. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and give custom codes custom properties like margin or a different shape or a different size or anything. Now, for example, let's go ahead and set the border radius of this to two pixels, all right? Click on save and I go to publish to selected domains again. All right, now this time, let's see how this looks. All right, now you can see that the rounding went off and it's just two pixels now. So that's pretty much it on how you can go ahead and customize the navigation slider dots in Webflow. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment sections down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.